Have you ever wondered what happens in the brain when someone uses methamphetamine or MDMA? These two substances, commonly known as meth and ecstasy, have been a topic of interest not just for their widespread usage, but also for the profound changes they induce in the brain. Methamphetamine, a powerful stimulant, and MDMA, an empathogen and tactogen, are both notorious for their potential to cause neuronal damage. But what does this mean and why is it so important to understand? To put it simply, neuronal damage refers to harm inflicted on the cells that make up our brain, the neurons. This damage can lead to a multitude of serious mental and physical health issues. So, by studying the effects of meth and MDMA, we aim to shed light on the detrimental impacts they can have on our brain and overall health. Let's delve into the intricate world of neuronal damage caused by these substances. Every journey begins with a single step, and for these drugs, the journey commences with intake. Methamphetamine, often known as meth, and MDMA, commonly referred to as ecstasy, are two potent substances that are taken into the body in various ways. This could be through inhalation, ingestion, or injection. In the case of meth, it's often smoked or injected, allowing for a rapid onset of effects. The drug quickly enters the bloodstream and is carried to the brain where it begins to exert its influence. MDMA, on the other hand, is typically ingested in pill or capsule form. It then dissolves in the stomach, enters the bloodstream, and is transported to the brain. But how exactly do these substances reach the brain, you may wonder? Well, it's through the circulatory system. Once in the bloodstream, the drugs are carried to the heart, pumped into the lungs for oxygenation, and then sent back to the heart to be pumped out to the rest of the body, including the brain. In the brain, meth and MDMA interact with various neurotransmitters. Chemical messengers that transmit signals across a chemical synapse from one nerve cell to another. Meth primarily increases the amount of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure, mood and motor function. MDMA, on the other hand, has a greater effect on serotonin, a neurotransmitter that regulates mood, social behavior and memory, among others. However, these drugs do not merely increase the release of these neurotransmitters. They also inhibit their reuptake, leading to an accumulation of these chemicals in the brain. This results in an intense rush of euphoria, energy and invincibility, often described by users as a high. But this high comes at a cost. The prolonged presence of these neurotransmitters in the synapse can lead to neuron damage, this is due to the overstimulation of the receptors, which can cause them to become less responsive or even die off. From the bloodstream to the brain, these drugs embark on a destructive path. Once in the brain, methamphetamine and MDMA begin their course of disruption. They target the brain's delicate chemical messengers, dopamine and serotonin. Methamphetamine in particular is known to damage these neurotransmitters terminals potentially leading to cell death. Studies suggest that methamphetamine exposure can trigger a process known as apoptosis or programmed cell death in certain areas of the brain. This destructive path is not limited to dopamine and serotonin though. Methamphetamine also affects GABA interneurons, essential building blocks of brain communication. It's like an unwelcome guest who not only ruins the party, but also damages the house. MDMA, on the other hand, may not have as many studies highlighting its destructive nature, but evidence suggests that it can cause apoptosis in primary hippocampal cultures. This drug also seems to increase levels of reactive nitrogen species and caspase 3 an enzyme involved in apoptosis, indicating cell death. The brain's normal functioning is now under siege, setting the stage for further damage. The brain's neurons are now in the line of fire. Methamphetamine, commonly known as meth, doesn't just damage dopamine and serotonin terminals. It also appears to trigger cell death. The evidence of this comes from increases in tunnel, a marker for cell death reported after exposure to meth in the prefrontal cortex and striatum. 
In other words, the very heart of our cognitive and motor control is under attack. This cell death isn't random. It seems to target particular subpopulations of GABA interneurons. Within the hippocampus, the region critical for memory, cell death of calbindin-containing GABA interneurons has been demonstrated after meth exposure. Meth also contributes to the death of parvalbumin containing striatal GABA interneurons. It's like meth has its own hit list inside our brains. That's not all. Meth-induced cell death has been linked to mitochondrial damage and endoplasmic reticulum stress. Specifically, meth has been shown to produce cell death through increases in caspas 3 activity and the FAS face cell cell death pathways. It's a bit like meth is pulling the plug on the energy source of our cells, leading to their inevitable demise. But meth isn't the only culprit. MDMA, another recreational drug, has been implicated in cell death, particularly in primary hippocampal cultures. MDMA has also been reported to cause cell death in cultured cortical neurons in a 5-HT2A receptor-dependent manner. This drug exposure results in increases in reactive nitrogen species and caspase 3, indicative of cell death. In vivo studies have demonstrated that MDMA exposure increases protein levels of apoptosis-associated proteins, such as BX, cytochrome C, and caspase, three levels in the hippocampus. It's as if MDMA is cranking up the volume on our cells' own self-destruct mechanisms. The damage is done and the aftermath is nothing short of devastating. As we continue to unravel the complex and destructive effects of methamphetamine and MDMA on our brain cells, we're reminded of the harsh reality that these recreational drugs are far from harmless. It's a sobering thought that underlies the importance of awareness, education and prevention in the fight against drug abuse. The once bustling city of neurons now resembles a war-torn landscape. Methamphetamine and MDMA, two potent substances, wreak havoc on the brain's intricate network, causing irreversible neuronal damage. It's not just about the immediate effects, the long-term consequences are far more devastating. These substances target various areas of the brain, leading to cell death and disrupting the delicate balance of neurotransmitters. They induce apoptosis, a form of programmed cell death, in critical regions such as the prefrontal cortex, striatum, and hippocampus. This damage is not confined to dopamine and serotonin terminals. It also affects different subpopulations of GABA interneurons, further exacerbating the damage. Moreover, these substances disrupt mitochondrial function and cause endoplasmic reticulum stress, contributing to the process of apoptosis. They induce DNA damage and alter the expression of certain genes involved in cell death. The repercussions are severe, leading to permanent changes in the brain's structure and function. The brain's structure and function are forever changed and the individual is left to cope with these alterations.